We are all used to things like React or Angular on the client. But sometimes we want to build a small website like for documentation or a blog for example, where we don't need these client frameworks. And then we have a question, what to take here? And there is a great solution for that, which is called Astra. And by the end of this video, you will understand what are pros and cons of it and how to set up it correctly. And even before we start, we must understand the problem. Most developers that I know when they hear about Astro, like another framework, compare it with React or Angular. And they're saying like, okay, we don't really need another frontend framework. But Astro is not a competitor to the client framework. It solves a completely different problem. Let's have a look on the official website. It is a web framework for content-driven websites, which means it is focused on the projects where you need to render content. Typical examples here would be a blog with the list of articles or a website with documentation of some framework. And obviously you don't need for such stuff a client framework because you have just stacks. You want to render everything as fast as possible on the server. And typically, if you don't use something like Astra, you would in JavaScript world pick, for example, an Express and Node.js and render your articles on the backend. But there is a lot of stuff to set up on your own and Astra simplifies that. Because essentially, you can create just a bunch of markdown files and you are getting a website with zero JavaScript because it will be built to plain HTML. So previously, if you would like to build such small website, you typically would use something like Gatsby or Jekyll. And here you can see the comparison of performance of Astro with other things. So let's try to set up Astro and check the differences. And in order to generate an Astro application, we can just write npm create Astro latest. I'm hitting enter and we're getting a question how to name our folder. We can write here something like foo. I will put here a dot because I already have an existing folder. And here we can create a template, either a minimal setup, a block template or a docs template. I will select here a block template. Yes, I want to install all dependencies and now our project is being generated. Our project is generated successfully and we can just call npm run dev to start it. And this is what we see in browser. This is an Astro blog, hello astronaut, and we have different links like a blog page and about page. And then in the blog we can jump to different articles and see its content. But here is an important point to mention. Under the hood Astro use vid, this is why it is also blazingly fast. Now let's have a look on our project. In the root we have Astro config MGS, and as you can see it is super similar to a vid project. Most importantly here we are providing integrations, for example for MDX and the sitemap. Now let's have a look on our source. Inside source content we have a bunch of markdown files, like for example second post. Here on the top we have a section with all meta information that we need for this article and then the content of the article. Which basically means it is enough to simply throw here a new markdown file and you successfully created your article. And additionally to that, it supports MDX, which is markdown with the possibility of embedded JavaScript and JSX. And here is another extremely important point. We don't load any JavaScript here because all our markdown is built to HTML and we simply serve HTML. It is great for SEO reasons, because all our markup is visible for Google search engine and our website does not wait for loading of JavaScript and client side, because we don't have it by default. But no worries, it is extremely easy to add your client code if you need it in your project. Now let's have a look on the structure. So we already know the content, this is where we have our markdown files, but here we have pages. And actually pages are exactly routes of your application. And here are two different routes. First of all, let's have a look on index. As you can see, code here is looking like JS6 in React. And the idea is that on top we have our imports and then we have a plain HTML page. But with a twist, because we are rendering here components like for example header or base head. And this index Astra is exactly the page that we can see on the home. And what we see on the top is that we are using header from components header. So we can guess inside components we have reusable components. Let's open here footer Astro. So on the top we have our block with JavaScript and then we have markup where we can use these variables. Additionally here we have inline styles. So it will be all packed in a single HTML file. 
But now let's look on our pages about. It is different. What is pages about? This is the slash about round. And the main difference here is that we don't have the whole HTML block, we have a layout. So we can import here a layout, like in React for example, and we're providing through props some parameters, like title, description, publication date, and an image. And inside we simply have our markup of this specific page. This allows us to have a reusable wrapper across different pages. So our layout is living in source layouts, and here we can see our blog post. And first of all, you can see the markup, it is HTML, so exactly all this stuff is being rendered. And we have a slot, and in exactly this slot, the content of our page will be injected. And now on the top, it is slightly interesting, because we are getting from Astro Props all this stuff, like title, description, publication date, hero image, and so on. And you already saw all these variables inside content in our post. So this is all the stuff that we are providing here. We are getting it inside Astro Props and we can use it, for example, inside our layout. So having articles is nice, but what if we need a full-blown framework? Just imagine we want to throw not just some plain JavaScript, but let's say React to some page. But with React you typically will load it on all pages and you will build your client-side application. Here it is different, you will pack your React only on specific page. By the way, if you are serious about becoming a senior front-end developer, I go much deeper in React architecture, testing, design patterns and creating real-world projects in my front-end bootcamp. Just something to keep in mind if you want a full picture. So in the console we can install Astro React, React and React DOM. Now we can jump in our Astro config MGS, and here on the top we are importing React and in integrations we must call it. And this is enough to have React in our application. So let's create a React component now. Inside source components we can have not only Astro components, but just plain React component. So let's name it counter GSX, so let's keep it simple. And they have a component with just a counter. And now let's say that we want to use it inside our about page. So let's jump here and import our counter from components counter. Now here on the bottom I want to write h2 react counter and here I want to render a counter component. But this is wrong, this won't work like we want to. Why is that? Because by default all our code will be built in plain HTML, there will be zero JavaScript. But exactly on this page we want to use React and React and client code. So in order to do that we must write client load. So exactly this piece will be loaded on the client. Let's look in the browser again. I am scrolling about page and here is our React counter. We can click on the input and you can see that it is increasing. So inside Astro we have this possibility to have different rendering. And basically we have three different ways of rendering, or how it is called also islands. So in the documentation you can see that we have islands that can be either a static HTML, or a client piece of code, or a server piece of code. So for example on your page you can have static content, but additionally two interactive islands on the client side. And this is exactly our client side island. But what about server islands? Let's look on the example. Inside components I want to create a post list Astro with such code. So what do we have here? On the top we have some plain JavaScript. We are waiting here a promise with set timeout to seconds, so we want to simulate loading our posts in two seconds of time. For example if you want to load them from some external database. This is the array of our posts, and now we have just G6 markup, where we are rendering our post. This is essentially a server island. Let's go back to our about page, and on the top I want to import this component. Now let's use it. So after our counter I want to render post list, but we want to say that this is a server island. So we can write here server defer. But it won't work just like this, we must change our configuration. So inside Astro config MGS, we need to define a different output. In our case, we don't want static, we want server. Now let's look in browser. We see our about page and on the bottom two links to our post. But now let's reload the page really fast. I'm reloading, there is no content here, and then after two seconds this block appears. Why it is so awesome? We rendered our HTML without waiting to load this post. 
and this block was deferred and after we load this information it was rendered on our page. And this concept is extremely strong because you can combine whatever you need, for example plain HTML, client side or server side. But at some point you for sure want to style your blog. And I typically prefer to do this with Tailwind, which we can install here with ease. So inside console we can write npx astro add Tailwind, and we need to hit here yes. And here we are getting an information that it will update our config MGS. So here is import Tailwind, and now we have Tailwind CSS dependency. We are hitting yes, and it was a success. Now the only thing that we must do is to import this source styles global CSS inside our layout. So let's jump inside our layouts and on the top we can add this import. Now let's open this global file in the styles. Here we have all our default styles, but additionally we want to import Tailwind here. Now let's restart our project and here we can try to add some Tailwind classes like text thread 500, underline and decoration pink, let's say 500. As you can see in browser, our Tailwind styling is there. So Astro is an amazing solution to build a small lightweight website with a little bit of client or server site here and there. And if you enjoyed this video and you're serious about getting to senior level, not just building applications but understanding testing, architecture, design patterns, then my frontend bootcamp is made for you. You can find the link to it in the description box below.